This is the fourth video of the Teach with ArcGIS training course and it will show you how to add teachers into your ArcGIS for Schools account and find ArcGIS for Schools resources. This part of the training will be broken into three parts. Adding new members one at a time into your ArcGIS online account, adding new members from a CSV file into your ArcGIS online account in bulk and where to find ArcGIS for Schools resources. The first thing you'll do is go to Arches Online and sign in. Once we sign in, we go to Members and Invite Members. We have the option to add members without sending invitations, which is what we want to do in this case. And we click Next. So we have two options, add a new member one at a time or add new members from a file. So the first one we're going to do is add a new member. For the first name, we're going to add in new member. The second name, teach with ArcGIS. And a username. Going to decide what role they'll have. So I'll make this a temporary password and click next. I'm going to click on this tick box for new member teacher at ArcGIS and click next. Scroll down and click next. And add new member and the new member will be added into my account. The next thing we'll do is add members by CSV file in bulk. So we'll click Invite Members, Add Members Without Sending Invitations again. This time we're going to click on New Members from a File. We're going to browse to our CSV file. So we have one from today. We have a member template, which everyone will have from today's training session. So we click on this and click Open. This template looks like this. It's broken down the format that ArcGIS Online accepts. First name, last name, e email, username, role, user type, password, and allow as your access. So you can just edit these out with your own first name, last names of attendees and attendees' emails and username and passwords, but just use the structure of the actual template with your own information going forward. So we've added the CSV file we're browsing to it. We're going to add 20 members. It's all green, which says it's good to go and click next. Next of all, we're going to tick on all 20 of our members to add them into your ArcGIS Online account and click next. Next again, adding 20 members and click add members. You'll now see that the 20 members have been added into the ArcGIS Online account. So by following the template that you receive in your pack and entering your own information into it for your attendees, you can add different members and attendees for your courses into the account. Same structure for teachers adding students into the account. Just follow the template structure but with your own information. Um, it is kind of easier to keep the information a bit generic. Um, sometimes it has issues with characters in names just to be aware of. So the next part of today's training session, the last part, is to show you where to find ArcGIS for Schools resources. So you can go to the schools.esri-ireland website. It's our new website. We've got some case studies with schools for you to look at. Um, we've got um, some videos on what schools are doing so far. We've got some maps made by schools that you might get some inspiration from. And here's our case studies from four of our schools from last year that can show you what other schools are doing. We also, if you're interested in GeoMentors, can set you up with this. Um, and we've got events and workshops happening, just to be aware of. So you can scroll through our website and we've got a teacher resources page as well with lots of different resources that you can use to train yourself up on how to use ArcGIS online in Server123. The next page is our GIS and Schools Twitter page and we share a range of different resources every week 
that could be useful to you in your teaching of ArcGIS for schools. And we also have a specific website that's Teach with ArcGIS. It's called learn.arcgis.com uh, forward slash en forward slash educators forward slash and you can scroll through this and there are lots of guides on how to teach with ArcGIS for schools as well as lots of lessons that could be useful in your classes for your students to go through about the Australian wildfires and um, resources from around the world, plate tectonics, earthquakes and volcanoes and there's a huge amount of resources there that could benefit you in your teaching of ArcGIS for schools.